Um, okay, so we want to find how much work to lift a 20-foot chain. So 20-foot chain that weighs 60 pounds. So 60 pounds, 20 feet. Um, so that the top end is 30 feet above the ground. So this is the ground right here. And so these are the stages. First it's coiled up. And uh, here this is where you're grabbing it. That's supposed to be a hand. Or maybe an arm. A machine arm. Anyways. Um, ooh, a robot maybe. Uh, anyways, uh, so you start lifting it up a certain amount, but then notice that um, you want to lift it so that the top end is 30 feet above the ground. So that means that, um, you know, it's going to be, the bottom end is going to be 10 feet above the ground. So uh, we'll talk about how to take that into account in a little bit. Um, so first, our first task is to find the uh, the mass density and so since it's um, 60 pounds and 20 feet well then the mass density is going to be um, 60 pounds per 20 feet well that's 3 pounds per foot okay so before um, we continue let me uh, draw this the chain where it's just barely leaving the ground so this would be a 20 foot length of chain and this is right when there's none left uh, coiled and then over here of course it's up in the air okay so um, then once I uh, do that let me put the axis down here so notice how um, the chain needs to travel from uh, point zero to um, a certain distance uh, y. So that's the work needed to take the chain from uh, the ground up to uh, where it's going to be. Now from this point to this point uh, the work needed to take um, this slab. So let's say this is a length of slab of delta y so the work for this slab, this is going to be the ith slab right here, this one that I marked, um, is going to be 3 pounds per foot times the thickness of that slab, delta y, which of course is going to go to 0 uh, feet, and then times the distance that it, it needs to go. Okay, so that distance is going to be uh, y uh, feet. Okay, and so then here we have we have uh, that the work to take this slab from here to here is going to be um, 3y um, foot pounds. So then the total work, and let's forget about this um, part right here because I'm going to explain that in a minute. Um, to take the, the chain from coiled to right off the ground is going to be the integral from 0 to 20, because that's how long the chain is, of 3y dy. Okay, but then notice how once it's right here, the conditions are changed, because now what you have is that this chain, when it goes from here to here, this is has a fixed uh, force. So it's no longer changing. Now it's just traveling up. So going from uh, 0 to 20, it's this much, but then it has to travel another 10 feet, but it's always weighs, always weighs uh, 60 pounds after that point. So then I'm just going to add uh, the work needed to take it from here to here, which is uh, going to be the force, which is 60, times uh, the distance, which is well, 60 pounds, and then times the distance, which is uh, 10. And this is a uh, this is a constant. 
And so then when you do this guy, um, we're going to get uh, 3y squared over 2 from 0 to 20 plus 600. And so uh, the total is 1,200 foot-pounds.